sure that works. DIY Halloween costumes. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 Costume, which is going to be the angel, but we have three other costume ideas that we are going to pop in that we have already done and give you those afterwards. For our angel Halloween costume, for your materials, you're going to need a t-shirt. Now, we're turning our t-shirt into a dress, so you probably need a t-shirt that's a good like three to four Five. sizes bigger than you. Next up, what you're going to need is magical pipe cleaners because we're going to make our magical halo out of them. And then you're going to need a really fun type of lace that you can wrap around as a belt. For our pipe cleaners, we just did silver and gold because they're halo-y and they're angel-y. But you can really just do all silver, you can do all gold, you can do all red, whatever you it's want to do. do. <laughs> so we'll get started with the halo. So you're going to take two pipe cleaners that are silver. Woohoo! And you're going to connect them. So like that. And then you're going to take this and connect it to the other end. You're going to make a circle. Then you're going to take two other silver pipe cleaners. And you're going to put one at this end of the halo. And you're going to keep them on the same side though. On this side of the halo. And you're going to push it up. And then one on the, like, a little, like, I'd say like four to five inches, not even. Yeah, it's about four inches apart, three inches. I would say like three inches. Yeah, like three inches apart. So on the same side, on because side. obviously you don't want to look like you have antennas when you're an angel. Yeah. Okay. You're going to take these two and you're going to start twisting. So while she's twisting that, then you're going to make your little top halo, which is this little tiny thing. You're going to use one pipe cleaner and you're just going to twist it to be at the top. And then you're going to take this and you're going to round it out. And then you're going to tuck it. And you're going to scrunch it like this. You're going to pull it up a little bit. So that way it stays better. You're going to put it on. Yay! So this is like the halo. It's nothing like too extravagant. And it's super simple and super cheap, obviously. And it's super cute. So now we're going to move on to our second part of the DIY Halloween costume. Which is the angel actual costume. For the angel costume, you're going to take your t-shirt. No, Rosanna and I accidentally bought like kid boys. <laughs> so they're kind of short. You're going to put it on. So, hold on a sec. Let me go put this on. Okay, so for this part, we're going to do two different kinds of shirts. So if you're really on the go, Lex did a shirt that doesn't have any cuts or anything to it. She it's just threw just it on. Quick. Like, you can even, like, use your dad's shirt, your boyfriend's shirt. I mean, I'm pretty sure someone has a white shirt that has nothing on it. I'm going to take a white shirt, and I'm going to cut around the neck on the outer side. You're going to cut close to the collar, like, to this collar part. To the thing. But you're not going to cut the collar. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So it's cut like this, and it kind of looks like, obviously, it's been cut. So what you do is you take the inside of it, and you roll it, and you pull. It doesn't look like it's been cut. It just turns into like a roll kind of deal. So we have two different versions here. We have versions, sorry. <laughs> and it's off the shoulders that I just cut and stretched out, and then it's just a regular t-shirt. It's just simple. If you're on the go, you got to get out fast, just throw on a t-shirt. Or like your dad doesn't want you cutting his shirt, or your brother, or whatever shirt you're borrowing. Like yes. They don't want you to cut their shirt, then just wear like a normal t-shirt, like no one cares. But you can dress it up. So that's what we're going to do. We have this trim that we just found laying around, so honestly you can find it anywhere. So what Alexa's going to do is we're going to wrap this around her waist. You literally can just do anything. You can literally tie it, knot it, whatever. And then we can just cut it. Cut it out. Right there. And then she can knot it. I know chokers are a really big trend. You can always just get... Um, a hot glue gun or a safety pin, we have a hot glue gun, and just literally neck it since she has an off the shoulder. You can get these at like any fabric store, it's Velcro. You can get it anywhere. So you take the choker and we take one side, like kind of a band-aid, you don't rip off one side until the other side's on there. 
So flip it over. On the side. Like this. And this side. Okay, so now that you have it, you're going to obviously attach it. So it will go like this. So, as you can tell, out of these two outfits, she made a belt out of hers, I made a choker out of mine. It's really up to you. And we both have halos. It was super simple and super easy. You can literally find these objects at Walmart, Target, or even in your house, I'm sure. Now we're going to just cover our other DIY outfits that we did later on. Our first costume was actually my last year's Halloween costume. I was a beanie baby. And that is super easy to make because you can literally be any animal. I was a rabbit. And I paired it with a white crop top and a white skirt so it matched my white ears. I got like a set that probably cost $6. It had ears, a collar, and a tail. And I just attached that on. And then I literally just cut out a big heart that said TY, you know, the little beanie baby sign. And I hung that around my neck. I punched holes in it. And that was my beanie baby costume. So in California, we had this event. And it was really cold at night in California. So we're like, well, we don't know what to wear. And we don't want to wear the same costume. But also, like, we want to be warm and comfortable. So we decided, oh, let's be Victoria's Secret Angels and wear the Victoria's Secret sweats. We made it look like a costume. Yeah, we put like VS, yes, and yeah. you can always, you know, add wings to it just so they get the picture that you're a victim. But we didn't go that extent. Our other DIY costume we did was Pajama Girls. Now, this so sounds crazy. so crazy, so simple, but it actually turned out really cute. We decided to be Pajama Girls because we all had these nightgowns. We wore the nightgowns and then we just paired them with matching high and socks. socks. And it turned out really cute. Well, we hope you guys like our DIY costume. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. We definitely want to see your DIY costumes if you do any of those. So please comment, post pictures, send it to our Instagram. Like, we are super Tag interested. Us in them. Yes. Don't forget to follow us on all social media at Riss and Lex down below. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.